Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Makesh's Tech Space. Uh, now today's video uh, comes as a suggestion from a viewer. Uh, the video will be about showing you how to connect VaultPress, a backup and restore solution, um, with your WordPress LightSail instance. Um, over, uh, I've not worked with VaultPress much, uh, but uh, this was a viewer suggestion, and so I went and tried it out. There are a couple of uh, configuration or tricky parts to get uh, the VaultPress product and plugin working with your WordPress instance so that um, it can do uh, backups, uh, take snapshots of your, of your website, as well as restore um, the files and database files um, from a snapshot uh, past in time that you wanna you would like to restore from. Uh, so it makes it very easy, but the setup is a little bit tricky. It has a few steps in it. Uh, it's not overly complex, but uh, you need to know the right steps. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, well let's get started. If you haven't uh, yet signed up with VaultPress, then go ahead and head on over to vaultpress.com and uh, click on pricing. And they have two models. They have the personal model and the business model. We're going to sign up with the personal model. And uh, the first thing it will ask you is the website address. And so go ahead and type in your website address. For us, we'll use that. Start the installation. Next, it's going to ask you for your username and password. This is uh, a WordPress administrator password, uh, username and password. So uh, make sure that you type that one in. Uh, in some cases, I've seen that if you have uh, some plugins installed, um, for example, WordFence or uh, maybe some other security-based uh, plugins, then they may not allow uh, Jetpack to install automatically the, the necessary plugins that it needs to run VaultPress. Uh, so in those cases, if you run into issues, then you can install Jetpack manually. Uh, but uh, if you don't have anything um, uh, that would conflict with this process, then go ahead and enter the credentials for your WordPress administrator. And it's going to attempt to log into your site and install the plugins. There we go. And uh, the next thing is you'll create an account with um, uh, with Jetpack. Uh, and uh, and then I think it, next you go into the billing section and pay for the package that you uh, wanted, uh, the $39 package. And, uh, and then you'll come back to uh, your WP dashboard. There we go. And uh, once you're done, you get to the screen where it asks you to sign up. This is what you're going to do. Pay, go ahead and put in your PayPal account or credit card account and go ahead and pay for it. Um, I won't show you this screen for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and go through this process. Okay, once you've entered your payment details, you'll get to this screen. Thank you for your purchase. Um, now let's go ahead and go back to our website and it takes you back to your site into the WP admin and here we go uh, you're managing your plan um, if you go to settings you'll have various options for that's installed as part of Jetpack uh, but if we click on WaltPress you'll see that it's uh, doing a initial backup uh, of your site but right now it's uh, it's backing up our uploads folder then it will back up themes plugins tables and once it's finished uh, we'll go ahead and visit the dashboard on the vault press website Okay, once it's uh, fully backed up your website, you should come to uh, bring you to this page. 
and it says that your site is protected by vault press um, uh, we'll go ahead and visit the vault press dashboard next so click on that and then ask you to approve perfect so that um, uh, that brings you to the vault press dashboard what we'll do is click on settings next um, and you need this so that uh, vault press can actually run a restore and so if you ever need to uh, restore from a previous backup then uh, vault press needs to connect back to your server install the database install the necessary files from that snapshot that you're restoring from so this connection is needed the recommended connection is ssh that's the best way that uh, vault press can send uh, data back to your website um, there are some other routes ftp sftp you can set up those but we won't uh, go through that i'm going to show you how to set up the ssh route Okay, so let's go ahead and click on SSH to set up that account. The server address should be your website address, vp.mukesh.me in my case. Uh, the port by default is 22 for SSH. Username and password, these are your SSH credentials, your username and password. So for us, in our scenario, we have AWS Lightcell instance and I've connected um, uh, the Lightcell instance with the management software RunCloud so uh, it will be the runcloud account so you will use if you use runcloud then it's the username runcloud if you have a different server management software like server pilot it would be that or you could actually have an ssh account created that's specifically for vault press and you can type in that username and password but it needs to be the ssh username and password and not your wordpress administrator login so for me it's runcloud and then i'll get the password here type that in or paste it in next we'll hit the show public key button and that displays the required information that we need to add into the authorized keys file on our server to allow the connection to come in from vault press so highlight that and make sure you copy it entirely go ahead and hit save it's going to attempt to connect and it may even say that it's uh, access is saved and working but really it's not working yet we need to first uh, set up the uh, authorized keys on the server side for the connection to actually happen so head on over to aws light cell dashboard you have your instance so within your instance go ahead and click on connect using ssh the window will pop up and you'll be logged in so again like i said in my scenario here i've connected it using runcloud so it always uh, displays this integration if you've done server pilot or if you're using the wordpress uh, install of light cell you'll see a different screen here but in either case it will allow you to log in via ssh this way uh, as you'll see we're always logged in with the root ubuntu account so to log in with the runcloud account or sudo to the runcloud account you want to run the command sudo sudo space su and then the runcloud username hit enter and now you'll see that you're running as runcloud you want to go to the home directory of runcloud so cd slash home runcloud and then we'll do an ls al to display the directory contents and as you can see here we don't have the .ssh folder where we need to create the authorized keys. But don't worry, if you have it already, you would just cd into that folder. But if you don't have it, you just want to create it. So you'll run the command make dir-p.ssh. And now if you do ls-al, you will have the .ssh folder. So you want to go into that cd into the .ssh folder and then create a file called authorized underscore keys so use your favorite editor i'll use vi authorized underscore keys it has to be spelled exactly that way and inside here we'll go ahead and paste the key that we copied from the vault press icon so paste Come out here there we go and once you've done that save the file and that's the new file it's written 
now we should be able to come back to the vault press dashboard and then here we'll hit test credentials so let's give it a shot and see if we got everything corrected oh ssh not working test credentials not accessible so let's see um, i've run into this before and usually a refresh and then test will do it ssh access saved and working so you can hit test again and it's done so VaultPress has full access to your servers, files, and database. So that's it. Uh, you should be connected. Now, what you'll want to do in the case of, in the event that you actually want to restore your website to a previous snapshot, you just head on over to backups. You'll see that we have one re or snapshot. You can view the backup, see the contents that you want, or you can go ahead and hit restore and you can pick what items that you actually want to restore and ready to restore hit restore now and because we have the ssh connection uh, configured it's actually going to push these files back to our server and restore the entire site from that point in time of the snapshot and as you can see it'll go through a various activities and once it's done, you have Restore Complete. So this is how you do it. Um, connect VaultPress with your WordPress site and, um, and perform restores and backups. And I highly recommend this. If you don't have any other backup solution, this is the most easiest way to get backups done and restores done for your WordPress website. There are other plugins. Uh, backup Buddy is one of those that I've used in the past um, that also do the similar thing, but they're not as easy as this, um, in my opinion. Alright guys, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, give me uh, some comments down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and also click on that bell icon so you get notified when I post more videos. Uh, a big shout out to James who recommended I do this video. And uh, if you have any other suggestions, any other topics, I know some people have been posting uh, various topics around uh, very uh, you know we're doing videos on stacks and uh, things like that so I'll take those into consideration you know there's something that I I first have to learn or I need to be comfortable with to be able to actually show you guys so uh, if you have any other suggestions around light cell WordPress uh, run cloud uh, put them down below and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens next um, so until next time thanks for watching